Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number 18. In these videos, we learned elementary concept, the basic concept, the rudimentary concept of mathematics that everybody should have at their fingertips. Anybody who is going to sit there for the SAT, GRE, or GMAT. If you're preparing for, if you're, if you're, if you're planning to take any of these tests, SAT, GRE, or GMAT, then the math concepts that we cover in these videos are fundamental. You must know everything that is that appears in here. Let's take a look at it. Well, let's take a look at the problem that we have today. We'll be given two quantities. Column A. Column B. Square root of 7 over 2 versus 1 half of square root of 14. And if you're preparing for the GRE, don't tell me that why should I worry about this question because nowadays they allow the calculator on the GRE, why should I worry about it? Well, they do allow calculators on the GRE. But the calculators that they give you on the screen is a very simple calculator with four basic functions, four basic operations rather, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. That calculator will not give you square root of any number. So you can simply punch in this thing and figure out what square root of 7 is and what square root of 14 is. What I want you to do at this point is pause the video, do whatever it is that you want to do to figure out what the answer is here and once you have the answer you can resume the video. I'll give you a few seconds to actually pause this thing and restart and so forth. Alright, so what do we have? How do we tackle it? Which quantity is bigger? Square root of 3 over 7 over 2 or square root of half or, or half times square root of 14? Well, this 2 here that you see there, can I write this 2 as 1 over the square root of 4? Of course we can. 1 over the square root of 4 is same as 1 over 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. Now 1 over the square root of 4 times the square root of 14, can that be written as the square root of 14 over the square root of 4? Of course, why not? The square root of 14 over 4, can that be written as the square root of 14 over 4? Of course, why not? I'm going to show it to you. For example, for example, the square root of 16 over the square root of 4. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. The whole thing is 2. We could have done it like this, or we could have written it like this. The square root of 16 over 4. Put them together. The square root of 16 over the square root of 4. We can write that as the square root of 16 over 4. And 16 over 4 is just 4, which is same as square root of 4, and square root of 4 is 2. Either way, we're going to get the same answer, whether we go this way or whether we go this way. We're going to get the same answer. The same exact thing applies here. The square root of 14 over square root of 4 can be written as the square root of 14 over 4. And square root of 14 over 4, of course, is same as the square root of 7 over 2, because you divide the top and the bottom by 2. The square root of 7 over 2 is exactly what we have here, this quantity is same as the square root of 7 over 2 and therefore the answer is C. Voila. The answer is C. This is a separate part. That's all. That's all there was. Want to do one more? No, well, let's do one more then. Well, here we go. Again, two quantities in the two column, the two columns rather. The first column has 3 raised to 5 times 7 raised to 6. And the other column has 7 times 21 raised to 5. Which quantity is bigger? Pause the video. Pause the video if you have to. Well, not if you have to. Pause the video. Solve the problem yourself. You know the routine, once you have the answer, 
resume the video at that point, okay? So I'll give you a chance to do pause the video. Well, very good. Let's see what we have here. Again, there are two ways you can solve this problem depending on depending on how you want to approach it. You can you can you can manipulate this 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 column here, column A, and see how that compares with column B, or you can manipulate column B and see how that compares with column A. We can do it either way. Let's work. Let's let's manipulate this column first. Can I write this as? Can I write seven raised to six? Can we write seven raised to six as seven times seven raised to five? Of course, why not? Because you know we add the exponents. This the seven is same as seven raised to one. So seven raised to one times seven raised to five is seven raised to six. So we, that's what we're going to do here. Let's write this 3 raised to 5 times 7 times 7 raised to 5. You see? 7 times 7 raised to 5 is same as 7 raised to 6. Now, this is... Now, we have these two quantities. 7 raised to 5 and 3 raised to 5, right here. 7 raised to 5 and 3 raised to 5. Can we put this together? 7 times 3 is 21 raised to 5 times 7. 21 raised to 5 times 7 is exactly what we have in the other column. The answer is C. That's all. That's all it is. Now we're going to reduce, now we're going to reduce this problem but we're going to work on column B and make it look like column A. Let's do it here. In column B, we have 7 times 21 raised to 5. Can we write 21 raised to 5 as 3 times 7 raised to 5? Why not? Of course we can. Or better yet, let's make it simpler. Instead of 3 times 7, write that down as 7 times 3. And can we break this up, 7 times 3 raised to 5, can we break that as 7 raised to 5 versus 3 raised to 5? Of course. And then of course 7, 7 times 7 raised to 5, this two quantities here is same as 7 raised to 6. 7 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 5, 7 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 5 is our column A. We just started with column B, but we end up with column A. Therefore, the two quantities are equal. The answer is C. The answer is C. That's all. Want to do one more? You're up for it? Can you broke it? I don't know where these words come from. They come out of nowhere. I'm not even, I'm not even sure if we have covered it. Oh, we did cover it. What do you know? Day number four. If you want to learn this word broke, if you want to learn the word broke, just type in Kashwani prep dash vocab dash day four and you will learn this word broke. Obviously broke has two meanings. And why do I say obviously? Because it's, if it didn't have the first meaning of the brook almost everybody knows which is the body of water, a stream and obviously that is not the meaning that I'm alluding to. Because if that were the case if that were the case, it's a hypothetical statement, which is why we say were, if that were the case, I wouldn't be standing here making a big fuss about it. A brook has a second meaning, which means to tolerate. Brook means to tolerate. Tolerate. I do not know how to spell things. tolerate, to handle, to stomach. A 
if you can stomach it, if somebody asks, can you stomach it? Can you handle it? Can you tolerate it? Can you, can you, uh, can you, uh, can you take it? What's the word I'm looking for? To tolerate, to stomach, to handle. Uh, that's, you get the idea. That's what broke means. So my, I, I just used the word broke. I said, uh, uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more question. And then I ask you questions. Can you broke it? In other words, can you handle one more problem? Can you tolerate one more problem? Can you stomach it? Are you up for it? And if you if you can broke one more problem, then let's do it. The problem is this. Column A, 9 raised to 5 versus 9 raised to 5 times 4 raised to 6 versus column B, which is 4 times 36 raised to 5. This is a very similar problem to the one that we just finished. Again, pause the video. Use the same exact logic that we used in the previous question and uh, apply the logic here and see if you can do it yourself. Okay, pause the video, do it yourself and then when you have the answer, continue it. Alright, again, there are two ways you can solve this problem. You can either manipulate column A and make it look like column B or vice versa. Let's do the column A first. So. 4 is to 6 can be written as 4 is to 5 versus 4 times 4. 4 is to 5 times 4 is same as 4 is to 6. And now we have these two quantities here. We have 9 raised to 5 and we have 4 is to 5. 9 raised to 5 times 4 is to 5 can be written as 36 raised to 5 times 4. Voila, that's your column B. We start with column A and we end up with column B, the answer is C. Another, we could have, another way we could have solved the problem is, we could have started out with column B. Column B is 4 times 36 raised to 6. Well, 36 can be written as, 36 can be written as 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. So 36 raised to 6 can be written as 9 times 4 raised to 6 which can be written as 4 times 4 raised to 6 times 9 raised to 6. 4 times 4 raised to 6 is same as 36. Oh, it's a 5, not a 6. Sorry, that's a 36 raised to 5. I just caught myself because it wasn't making any sense. This column, column B here is 36 raised to 5. So this is 9 times 4 raised to 5. So this is 4 is to 5 and 9 raised to 5. 4 is to 5 and 4 times 4 is same as 4 is to 6. There you go, 4 raised to 6 times 9 raised to 5. 4 is to 6 times 9 raised to 5. That is your column A. We started out with column B, but we end up with column A. Well, if you start it out with a quantity in column B, then by the time you manipulate it, it begins to look like column A, then the two quantities are equal. I shouldn't have said begins to look like, it does not begin to look like, it is, it does look like column A. It is column A. So therefore, if column B all of a sudden metamorphoses into column A, then the two quantities are equal. Oh boy, I don't know where these words are coming from, we have not learned them, we have not covered them in our vocabulary. Metamorphose. Metamorphose means to change the form, to change what it looks, what something looks like one thing, and then it begins to look like something else. And the process, the noun, is metamorphosis. And I use it as a verb, metamorphose, which means to change form. If you start out with something else, and it changes into something else, we start it out with column B, and we do manipulate it, and it metamorphoses into quantity that is in column A. The word is metamorphosis, metamor metamorphose. 
that is not the word that we have covered in the vocabulary, but because I have it on the blackboard now, one of these days we will actually cover it formally. But anyway, for today, I'm done. We are done. If you wish to get all of me for personal private tutoring or SAT, GRE, GMAT or TOEFL, you can go to any of these website addresses and, and send me an email. Or you can go to kashmaniprep.com and you can send me an email from there also. I, tutor, I provide tutoring services for these exams. Just send me an email and we'll see, I'll see what we can, what we can do. Alright? Thanks.